So, you've got yourself a light gun, but you don't want to press any of the buttons to reload your ammo? What are you going to do? Hi, welcome to another episode. What we've got here is is a foot pedal through USB made by somebody. They don't make it too clear, surprisingly. It's made by... Can you see that? No, neither can I. PC sensor. That's who. It is actually there. I've read reviews on Amazon. As always, still not sponsored. So you can see it just... PC center, very, very small. No big logo or anything like that. The driver is on a little CD, but don't worry, you can download it from the internet. Let's get rid of this bit of plastic. Nothing of real interest at all on the uh, the bit of cardboard and the disc. Let's, let's take the disc out, I haven't even bothered. There we go. So we go, PC sensor, sensor, you can see it even better now. Whoa, come on, focus, focus. There we go. But don't worry. The drivers are on the internet. So we can wander off the PC sensor in a minute and find out what they've got for the drivers. As for the foot pedal, I've been using it. It's very nice. In the realms of it's cheap, it's like what, 12, 13 pound or something like that? Something like that. Not that expensive really. Yes, it's tiny, it's smaller than my hand. But really, you just need something to be able to step on so that you can reload your ammo. Now you can see, it's making all my camera and everything else bubble around. But it's not bouncing. It doesn't shift too easily on the carpet. I have a little ring room. Um, can't speak for a, like a vinyl floor or something like that but it has got rubber feet yes it's cheap as I say it's not stuff but this particular model is the FS1-P um, which we need to remember when we look up the drivers later on but actually maybe not because I think it automatically finds it when you install the drivers but the great thing about this is that you can reprogram it to be any key on the keyboard any mouse button, gamepad button, all that fun stuff. So, in your emulation software, if you decide that a certain button is a certain thing, as in reload ammo is always going to be, I don't know, middle button on the mouse, for example, you can program this up. So it is that. Let's go across the software and find out how we actually program that up. So, pcsensor.com don't worry I'll stick that in the description but we slide across to software it gives a drop down we click foot switch surprisingly it is a bit of a slow site because it's coming all the way from China doesn't always seem to take it either when you click it there we go now if you look under tools and software tools, if you're into using Linux, you might get away with using it there. I don't know, I don't use Linux. Um, there seems to be stuff for Android as well, but sticking for Windows right now. Uh, foot switch again, there we go. There we go. So the latest version is 7.3.6. Click that. It wants to download it. It gives me the foot switch zip. I can double click that and that loads that up. So let's get rid of the browser. Load up a file manager. Load up a file manager. load up a file manager
load up a file manager, drag and drop the folder across. Obviously you can stick it wherever you want, I'm just doing this for show and tell. So we go into here and then we go into footswitch.exe, go into we load footswitch.exe or exe. You could make a shortcut and stick it on your desktop and everything but to be painfully honest when you use this and you've zapped it with what you want to use you probably never use the software again but um, put it somewhere you can find it so I stick in the foot pedal and as you can see it finds it automatically I'm gonna get rid of this stuff in the background now I've already programmed it up as being the letter R where I've been playing around and stuff but let's initialize it just in case you buy a second hand one and it's um, you know someone else has decided right so by default it's the letter B um, but really it is that easy to zap in a new letter so I'm gonna change it back to R again just to prove a point so there we go and I can do a few things here I can make sure is it on the way down that I pressed the trigger or is it when I've pressed the trigger and I'm releasing it actually does what I wanted to do but in my case I want it that I'm doing it when I've pressed the trigger I also want it that it's just a single press I don't it doesn't uh, so Okay, so plugging it in, just bidding, and it finds it. And by default, the letter B is being set to uh, be what happens when you press the pedal. But for example, I'm just going to put the letter R in, and I'm going to show you some other things you can do while you're here. You can decide if it's when you've pressed the pedal or when you've pressed the pedal. Now you're releasing it. Um, does it actually do what you want it to do? I want it so that uh, I press the pedal, it's doing it. I also want it that uh, over here, uh, I want it, it's a single trigger. So you can see here, single trigger and single key. Um, that means that it's not like the same of where you press the button down on your keyboard and it just goes mad, typing it again and again and again and again. It just does it once. And that makes sense for when you're just trying to reload your ammo. Um, and obviously it doesn't matter if you're using it for light gun games or you're doing it for, I don't know, Battlefield or COD, whichever one you like. Um, just make sure it's some combination that you're quite happy to use across lots of different things. And then you stick that into the configuration in the menu systems of the emulators or the, the game, whichever one you're doing. But anyway, you could go crazy and have, you have to press all the different Alt, Control, Windows and Shift on the left hand side of your keyboard and all of them on the right hand side before it actually did it. But as long as you can enter all of this into said emulation or um, game or whatever else it is that you're using this with. It doesn't have to be for the light guns. Right, but you could also um, stick in the, it's F24. If you've got a way of sticking in F24 into your emulation yeah, you can do that. Um, combination keys, all this wonderful stuff. And if you know how to write some scripts, you can use your own. It just points to where it is on your hard drive. Um, you could have, the, there's a combination of keys. You could have it so that it does something fancy from your mouse. Even move the mouse pointer to a certain place on the screen. You can set a string in, um, up to 38 characters. So if you know how to do strings of uh, different characters, you know, it, uh, but it will do them for you up to that many. Multimedia. Um, so I think with the string is the whole idea is that it will do one after another. So if you did ABC, it would type that combination. Whereas if you had the keyboard and it was multi-key combination, it would be like you were holding A, B, C down all at the same time. That's basically what that is. Anyway, over to multimedia. Stick your volume up and down. 
so you could actually stick one that you pressed and held the uh, pedal down and it would pump up your volume and then as you let go it would take it away again not don't know why you wouldn't that but you could do or you could set it so it mute so um forward a web page back a web page there's lots of different things you could do. You can even shut down your computer in pure panic. Shut down the computer by tapping the pedal. Or you can pretend that you've got a gamepad and you can do certain combinations of things from the gamepad. But as I say, for me, I just want the letter R single trigger. So anyway, whatever you've decided over this side, get it all in. It'll show you here and confirm it and everything. And then you click save to key. I doesn't say save to pedal, I don't know, but uh, it says save to key. Because it is classing each pedal as a key, I suppose. Because they also do sell, um, well, pedals where you've got two or three in a row. Anyway, when you flash it across, it gives you a nice, nice little message to let you know you've done it. And that's it. So just to give you an idea, I know it's quite silly, um, but I'm sure you can hear me pressing the pedal. As you can see I can press it and there's no repeat. Or I can keep doing it. But don't worry about that clicking sound that you're hearing when it's on the carpet or on the floor. It's nowhere near as loud as that because obviously my hand isn't stopping the vibration of the, all the cheap plastic that it's made out of. When it's on the floor, it's the carpet, especially a bit of carpet, it uh, quietens all that down an awful lot so don't worry about that um let's just get rid of this silliness here oh. this is one thing about windows 10 uh, windows 11 that's a bit annoying um anyway over here you can see that there's different shaped pedals now like one and two and there's even one there with three in a row it's up to you which one you buy, but they're all pretty much the same. I think the ones where it's yellow in the middle are a bit more robust, maybe. Um, but seriously, this one seems to work for the price. So let's go back to the table so I can talk to you more there. So, should you get yourself one? To go along with the Sinden light gun or any other light gun that doesn't have a pedal with it, I'd say so. It's got quite a long cable on it, and even if it hasn't, you could stick it on a USB extension cable. Um, it's good enough while you're sat on the sofa tapping away. It's good enough you're stood up and zapping away. If you wanted to use it for COD or Battlefield, something like that, to reload, then yeah, again, it'd be fine just for a little tap of the foot. It doesn't take a lot of pressure to press it. For the price, it's fair enough. I mean, you can install the software make sure it um, is set to a key that you're happy with um, and then that's it really just put it into the emulation software use it for you know stick it in for the config file of whatever it is you're using but apart from that please have a look at the description to check out the discord and the patreon links click that like button don't forget the subscribe and the notification bell but as always happy gaming